association what is the foundation foundation is there any more from the We've got about half an hour maybe to go around and take whatever pictures you want. So this is Chris. Hi. Um, I'll just mention first, because you can see a bit better maybe in this light, but there used to be two big totem poles outside that ran up to um, just underneath the hopper of that gutter there. And that was Ron's classical porch. And he moved here in 86. And so he lived here 33 years. A good photo of him there. But he wrote it in the term. Having a night, because uh, you can light it up. Quite better sometimes during the day, it's a bit dingy. Um, as you can see, he painted every section, every little bit, uh, ceilings and floors and rooms, but the main things are these sculptures. TV in just now, and uh, <coughs> we had to hide Cleopatra because she wouldn't, wouldn't be suitable for the television. <laughs> <laughs> Any more coming in? Yeah. So is the main electric not on then? Is no. No, yeah. right. no, no electric, no gas, <laughs> no nothing. We yeah. uh, struggled for three years. <laughs> Um, oh, when we first yeah. came in, uh, you couldn't see anything. Uh, there were bags up to the ceiling, mm -hmm. full of stuff. Um, it took us uh, about a month to actually sift through things and, and get stuff out. Martin, in fact, has got a load of things in the uh, home that he's making a film about Ron, so a lot of it's been taken away. But he used to um, go and collect, this is concrete, so he used to go and collect sand and cement down in Wicks. Um, down in town and push them back in a, a pram that we've got in the other room. Uh, most of the sculpture things that he made we think of were just actually for the purposes of drawing from. So if you at the top in all the rooms there's some hieroglyphics and some people who used to trace them and then um, make models out of them and then paint them bigger. Um, he used to make his own clothing, which is behind you, some of which is behind you, and the thing. He used to walk around town dressed as a Napoleonic soldier or, or um, costume. And uh, this is, is it this one? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> he uh, wore this when he was holding a musket that you'd see in the other room and he was protesting. When my nan, Alice, had to go into a nursing home. Oh, he was all wrong was he did have some, an unusual personality and he could be a bit challenging sometimes. But he was always arguing with like nursing home staff, complaining about something or other and he had a protest wearing this, holding a musket outside of nursing home. Yeah, very good. So, yeah, he made, he made them in here. So, uh, and if you, if you notice this eye, there's glass in it, that's yeah. probably from um, like a broken... Yeah, we found a broken windscreen that he probably took the glass from. Oh yeah, he's painted on the floor as well. And oh, there's a brilliant example of that in the, uh, in the back kitchen. Um, and when we first came in here, you just could not move. So in effect, these are quite accurate representations of how people used to paint at the time these um, pictures were taken. So, um, you know, things like the, the crack in the wall and the plaster missing, it's, it's all painted. You're ready to serve it from the Museum of Liverpool, and we go, oh, that's bad, isn't it? And we were going, what, really? You were concerned? <laughs> Or I could take a few pictures if you're just milling about the record. Yeah. I won't get this anymore. Just from somebody. Yeah. You won't be allowed to get it. <laughs> I know. But I mean, one of the reasons, you know, if we do somehow manage to, I guess, save it, it helps us to keep this place. Yeah. We want to be able to use it to kind of explore what it will help. You made up. So it's on short hand so you can remember that.
Martin got somewhere to do it. He went to Laird Art School as a very young lad for a bit, and then he did half of an A level course, so one or two years. Thank you. 
Not that it's, 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 um, roles underneath 